So we have another ambulance coming down the street, folks. Those sirens are becoming more and more prevalent. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. Have you noticed it's, that, Pete? Yeah, it's just we're almost oblivious, oblivious to it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a 19 or what 20 year old hockey player that just passed? Another one today. Did you Another hear about that? Junior hockey player. Yeah. Absolutely tragic. Um. And <laughs> yeah, so here we are. We're coming up on this uh, flag rally. Yeah. Canada Unity. Well, London's keeping it going. We've been out here what, the last six, seven weeks in the low range. That's right. Yeah. Now this guy Leo that we're about to uh, introduce everybody to. Yeah. He's behind it also. Oh, we'll see him in a minute here. This is Grant Pace with Druthers News and Information, and we are here in London, Ontario at the Wellington Overpass, and we are at a flag rally. Um, this is a flag rally for unity and freedom and for uh, Canadian pride. So I'm going to flip this camera around, and we're going to show you everything that's going on. How's it going, Pete? It's going good. So it's a Thursday night in London, Ontario, and we have, you know, about 14 or 15 people here in London. Um, but the point is, you don't need a big crowd necessarily. Uh, as long as people are out here, you know, we're, we're getting together, we're getting our message out. I mean, that, that, that's all that's important. So we're talking to a few different people here. Now, this lady over here, I don't know, if, did you want to get on camera, hon? No? Okay. Can you show us our, your flag and so? <laughs> She's battling the wind. Yeah, she's battling the wind. Maybe we can catch it this way. Yeah, we can go talk to Leo. Yeah, here There's that. Here's my friend Leo. We have one of the organizers here, our good friend Leo. And this is week number eight. Two months now you've been out here, everybody. Over two months. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes twice a day. Yeah, you come out in the morning, correct? Yeah, in the morning. Right. Yeah. Six thirty in the morning. Now, Leo, you, you find as more time goes on, you're saying more and more people are familiar with with the message that we're trying to get out there, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, there's more of a kinship, more of a brotherhood now. As you're walking around, people recognize you, and you get into some great conversations. Now, you sh I don't know if you're comfortable, but you shared a conversation that you had uh, with a gentleman this morning. And you guys did it off pretty early. Did you want to talk about that a little bit, or, or is it more a private thing? I don't know. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I won't get into the content, but uh, Leo's a good guy. He's, uh, he's someone that can communicate very, very quickly, and uh, that's the nice thing about our movement, right? We're all pretty much on the same page. Might be a bit of a difference of opinion, but we come together for events like what's going on on the bridge tonight in London and uh, I think it's fantastic. All well it is, do. it's 100%. So Leo, what got you into all this? What woke you up? Oh, way, 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 way before this. Yeah? 10, 10, oh, 15, over 15 years ago I guess. Really? So what was it? Anything specific or? Just, just everybody talking that uh, everybody everybody bringing this stuff up a long time ago and nobody wanted to listen yeah well with 9-11 the everybody banking thought, system and everything, everything else craziness people and conspiracy 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and uh I I I, I still I still watch I still watch the videos and looked at it was Jesse Ventura videos I was watching yeah yeah and uh, I, I, I was so you heard a lot of truth on those, and yeah. yeah. Well, perfect, Leo. You're, so your wife is down the street, I hear. Yeah. And she is handing out what? Druthers papers. Druthers papers. <laughs> wow. We should go down and take a look. Do you mind leading us down there? And, sure. Okay, let's go for a little walk, eh, Pete? Get one more shot of these. Let's get some signs. How's it going, brother? Good. Freedom. Freedom. Awesome. Nice to pull on the hockey stick. 
<laughs> Fishing pole and augie stick. A lot of uses for that stick, right? <laughs> Beautiful night here in London. I had some eagles flying over top of me yesterday. Did ya? Mm. I seen five eagles. I seen two eagles in the morning and uh, three in the afternoon. Yeah. Oh shit, I got your flag back there. Yeah, I'll leave it there. It's fine for now. Oh yeah. So Leo, tell us a little bit about yourself, my man. <laughs> Oh, about myself, eh? <laughs> well, I'm from uh, Chippewa, First Nations, and I hope to get them all involved, trying so hard, and uh, I think it's working. See people waking up on the on the yeah. res there? Yes, I yeah. do. Oh, yeah, a lot of people are yes. for sure. Yeah. Passing those papers out hardcore down there. Wow. And, Guys, uh, just just think of last year around this time where we were at. Long, you know what I mean? Yeah. I and mean, the, the movement is so much bigger now. You know what I mean? Uh, the sad thing is, there's so many more deaths from the job now. That that's what's really. I forget the, the name of the junior hockey player that passed away. Now I see your wife down there, and she is handing out Truthers papers to all these vehicles. Look at this. Awesome. It's a good spot. Yeah. Nice long traffic light. And when they stop here too, they're <laughs> yeah, uh, Fantastic. How's it going, brother? Freedom! Freedom! How's it going? Good job, man. Getting those, getting those brothers out, eh? Yeah, I am, actually. Yeah, There's like five people that said no thanks, and I told them to enjoy their bugs. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dinner is served. Dinner is served. <laughs> I'm going to get a shirt made, actually. Yeah. Hugs over bugs. Hugs I over bugs. Good, eh? <laughs> Cricket buffet at seven. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. So, Leo, this is your wife. Yes. Oh. Hello. Hello. So, what are you? Oh, we'll see what you're doing best. We'll see. What we'll see you in action. What's your strategy here. Okay, you enjoy your box. <laughs> there you go. So, would you like some real Thank you. That's how it's done. Yep. <laughs> and I almost got rid of them all. <laughs> I thought I saw a CTV car pulling up. Wouldn't that have been too too much of a treat for us, eh? Yeah, I love that sticker that I saw there on that CTV. That was funny. That yeah. was funny. Oh boy, I when I when I saw them do that, I'm like, oh man. Wow. Ballsy, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a good protest at Western University on Saturday, man. It was. not have the campus police dictate the protest though. Myself and a few people got a Facebook ban. Thank you. So Leo when to do us to introduce us to your wife. <laughs> hello. Hey hello to everybody watching Holly. Hi everybody. 
So, <laughs> so what do you have to say to everybody at home for Druthers? Watching here. Oh. Everybody watching here on Druthers. Get out there. Get Help out. us. Stand up for your rights and freedoms before they're gone. I don't want to eat bugs and I don't want my kids to be subject to this or my grandchildren. This isn't right. You just got to stand up and fight. That's right. Even if it's at the grocery store, anywhere. That's right. And you have some ammunition in your hand right now. Look at I all do. those seeds of information that you're planting. As you go down car to car, those people, they're getting a big wake up call with that paper. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for what you're doing, and it's Great very, very much appreciated, guys. Uh, from the bottom of our hearts, thanks. And that, you, you know, you're standing up for Canada. Wow. Don't no, wait because it's coming quick. That's right. Uh, don't let your guard down. That's for sure, guys. All right. Um, Should we see another round of? Uh, do another round. This is round two. Round two, folks. They got their paper. <laughs> Reading it right now. Look at that. We're getting out some druthers in London, Ontario. Hello. This is a really good location for Henry. You've got you have 401 in Wellington. That yeah. traffic light is a good couple of minutes. This guy's and people bugs. are gonna ask, what's this He's about? Bugs. He likes his bugs. Uh oh, yeah. really? Cooked or raw. Yeah. <laughs> we got a you know, Beetlejuice has a whole other meaning nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her go, folks! <laughs> Look at these great patriots, you guys. Yep. It's fantastic. So this is live from Barrie, Ontario right now. They're doing their thing, and we are doing ours. How's it going guys? Look at these signs. Care to tell uh, us a little bit about them? Oh, look at that. Oh, that one's for our grandkids, obviously. Okay. <laughs> That's just wake up and smell that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just say no. Just say the no bug to the bugs. These things. <laughs> you see some of the bugs that are on here? Which, and there's um, our good friend. There's our good not you guys. <laughs> we, I, we try to put mainstream media, but. Yeah, hey. Question everything. All right. This is your wife? I see your signs. Oh, wow. That's right. We will not comply. Perfect. Yes, that's exactly what it is, folks, right there. People uh, can, you can do the math. <laughs> yeah. We got uh, 600 plus soccer players, some of the healthiest athletes on this planet, and they have uh, dropped now. So that should tell people something. Like, that, that doesn't happen. We've never seen that in the history of mankind. Absolutely. Ask yourself some questions, folks. So, uh, what brought you out here? Uh, mostly our grandkids. Yeah. Their future. So you've been awake, awake to this for some time, well, then. 
since Truckers Woke was up. Yeah. 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 Nice. And you've been to some other protests, have you? Or? Yep. Been around uh, Western and yep. the Vaughn when they had that big one a couple of weeks ago, or a few weeks ago now, I guess it was. Uh, we went to see James Top. Oh, nice. In Ottawa. Oh, perfect. And I uh, did the last couple of miles with him. Wow, that's great. Uh, other than that, that's well, how, how did you find so how how did you find the walk? Was it? Uh, well, I have rheumatoid arthritis. My <laughs> so wife it was tough for knee, you. So it was tough on us. Yeah. You know, and you but did that. But you did she that. Was hurting for a month now. Oh boy! But you did At that for the freedoms, month. freedom of all Canadians. Guess, so, yeah. no much respect there. Uh, care to say anything else to everybody watching? Uh, well, people that are watching you are already awake mostly, but. I'd like to tell other people to wake up. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some people I know to watch you that haven't woken up yet. And one more question. Your opinion on Justin Trudeau? Uh, I voted for him the first time, and I'll never vote Liberal again. That's all I can say. Yeah, I made a big mistake by voting for him in the first place. Well, I thought he was better than Harper, but I guess... I don't know. You know, he, well, he was the same, he was, I guess. He got a lot of people. He, uh, he, you know, he told a lot of lies. Yeah, I, he's I, still uh, telling lies. I spoke to him before he was prime minister down at um, he came to London here, and uh, I, I bumped into him at Moxie's, believe it or not. And I, I went up and stood up and asked him, uh, Justin, how do you feel about fluoride in the water? And he says, Oh, you know, that's a conspiracy theory. Yeah. That's what he told me. There, that's a conspiracy theory. There is, and I'm like, Really? That's a conspiracy theory? Have you, have you seen any um, legal documents saying it's safe for human consumption? He says, Oh yes, I've read all of them. And uh, the proof, it you know, the this is the thing. There are no studies saying it's safe for human consumption. Oh, they've never been they, right? well. They've never been done. Yeah. So how could he read something that has never it's actually never taken place? Exactly. So that's, as soon as I heard him say that, I know, man, you're. That was before. You know, I was because I'm pro marijuana. Right? Yeah. And he was pro too. marijuana that was the only at the thing time. He did that he yeah, exactly. And that's probably just to dummy us down a little bit more so we can... Uh, 100%, you know. Get more people on the weed than... Yep. You know, be less just for the watch, votes, whatever the, whatever it took to get them in. I found that most of the people that are in this movement are awake to the marijuana yeah. stuff yep. long ago anyway. Yeah, well, that floor, when I asked him that floor question, that's what did it for me. I'm like, man, this guy is bad. This guy's bad news. Do not vote for him. Yeah, yeah. So he will not be in the best interest of the people. But um, yeah. I always considered myself a liberal before too, but I don't yeah. know where I am now. What well, I saw the other day was we're on the bottom and we're trying to work our way back up to uh, take those people out at the top, right? Yeah. Well, you know, it's a, it's almost like it's a criminal organization. You know, from the bottom yeah. up, there's it is you a know, criminal um, organization. They just make the rules, so they get you know they got it easier than the rest of the criminals, right? That's right. That's exactly right, my friend. I, I've been a... awake to this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the COVID. The, no, it's straight from the bank. You just follow the money, folks. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. who controls the money? Who controls how it's printed? Where is it made? How is it being distributed? You know? Uh, the, yeah. Why do we have um, these international banksters in all the countries? I think there's like three countries left that uh, don't have these. Um, <laughs> but don't have these Rothschild banksters in oh, place. Yeah. So. I've, oh yeah. I've studied a bit of that stuff, yeah. Quite a bit. For years. The other five percent. Very nice talking with yeah, you, my man. You too. The other five percent here. Take Mike, care. Give me the finger. So uh, five yeah. you get five percent fingers, do you? Like I said, ninety percent like. The other five percent might like they seen a ghost. And then the other five percent, oh well, they might give me the finger. But I've been standing <laughs> up here the one day for ten hours straight. And uh, out of that 10 hours, 10 fingers, an hour, an hour, an hour, <laughs> I don't know, every hour, I guess, but... Freedom fighter, baby. Well, you know, that, that, that new finger, that's the Trudeau salute. That's as far as I'm concerned. That's the Trudeau salute. You see it all over the flags. Now, give, give, you know, watch it. Show people, what's, what is that Trudeau salute that we're talking about? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And uh, that's directed to Trudeau, I'm, uh, I'm assuming, right? <laughs> so, so, Chris, I can just interview you for a moment. We have an interview scheduled for a special freedom fighter. I, I think she's right over really? here. Really? Now, okay. she's a little bit of a younger freedom fighter. She's very new to the movement, but excuse me, sir. We have a young freedom fighter that just joined the movement lately. Uh, in fact, right here. <laughs> well, she's got, oh got a Canadian gosh. flag and everything. Look at that, eh, guys? <laughs> You wonder what she's thinking right now, eh? Hey, sweetie. So, folks, this is why we're out here, okay? It's, it's for these people that have grandchildren, grandsons, granddaughters, you know what I mean? She's got that little flag there, but she's got people fighting for her. 
You know, God bless you, sweetie. All right, Leo, so tell us about the uh, situation going on right now on uh, your reserve. Well, we need clean water. 2015, Trudeau says he's gonna have clean water. I don't see any of that yet. Not even, not even no talks about it. Uh, never, 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 ever had clean water on a reserve. Right now, we get uh, water dropped off to us down on reserve. Uh, can't even have a sip of the water and people are sick. You can't even brush your teeth and you have a sip of the water, you get sick for the rest of the day. Um, that's why I'm out here. I'm out here to uh, hopefully bring our bring our natives out here to uh, stand up here with me so that we can uh, bring awareness. Uh, that's uh, it, It's terrible. It's actually absolutely sickening not to have uh, safe, clean drinking water here in Canada. And to deny you guys from that, I mean, I, I mean, it's unreal. 25 kilometers down the road. That's where you have to go. hook us up. Really? Why is that? What's going on there? You gotta ask some questions. So. Yeah. What else would you like to say, Leo? Fuck Trudeau. <laughs> Let's go so what's your name, brother? Crooked. What brought you out today? Help support this guy and uh, the London family. He's been holding it down here for quite a while. Also to show the truckers, the farmers that we have forgotten about him. We're right behind him. The veterans, the nurses, uh, everybody that's been affected. Who was on the chopping block that they tried to enforce the mandates on. I'm here to support all those people and uh, people that aren't even yet awake, man. That's, uh, that's what we come out all the time. That's perfect. So you know all about the agenda that's about to take place and what they want to what they want to do and what, how they want to create this world for the rest of us. This. Uh, Close Schwab and all of them. Oh yeah, I'm, I, I'm in the loop now, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. What do you think about this cricket fat we'll be having in London? <laughs> hey man, if people want to eat that, I heard it's not too healthy actually. I did a little research and uh, they're exoskeletons. It's made out of chitin. It's uh, kind of like a bioplastic almost. It's, you know, if you're like Doug Ford and you swallow the little bee, it ain't gonna kill you. You know, you can have a bug or two if you accidentally swallow one, it ain't gonna hurt you. But if you eat them in your Fruit Loops every day, it's probably not that good for you, you know? Like, right. So yeah, I don't want anything to do with it. You know, that's the free market. Let the free market decide, and, you know, whatever. Uh, definitely they shouldn't force crickets on people, but if people want to eat it as a snack, I don't think it's the healthiest thing, but whatever, man. Uh, uh, thoughts on Trudeau? Trudeau? Wow, man. <laughs> He's not a leader at all. Uh, I don't think he has any empathy whatsoever. He's not in touch with the common person at all. Uh, so yeah, I, you know, it's time to get somebody that can lead this country that, that can, and also uh, hold people that are in his cabinet accountable. You know, if you're the leader, you gotta make sure your generals and your sergeants and everybody else in your chain of command uh, is squared away, right? And it's, so he's not the only one, but it starts from the top. You work your way down the chain of command and it's just a complete and utter failure. So we need strong leadership is what I think about you though. I can say some other things, but we'll keep it PG. <laughs> uh, any final thoughts, any final words? No, oh, man, thank you to all the live streamers. Thank you to others, all the independent news media and each and every individual that comes out, man. It's okay, you know, be bold in your stance because we do have truth behind us. I'm not afraid of anything, man. I'll take the whole world on by myself because I'm, I'm that bold. So, you know, it's, it's okay to stand strong. We have all our friends and Freedom Family here. Let's keep the fight going. Let's keep charging forward. We're actually making progress. We're gaining momentum. We've already won. We just got to show them that, you know, how we do it. That's right. Thank you so much for your time, brother. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Brother. It's good to meet you. Okay. Yeah, nice to meet hey, you. Hey, Saad, my name's Grant uh, for Druthers News and Information. Yeah. How's it going? No complaints on so my end. We After just, seeing you guys. Thanks. Well, we were just walking home, walking back to the car, actually, yeah. and yeah. Uh, we bumped into you. Yeah, uh, I noticed you guys had on, uh, you know, uh, some shirts, brought, and I noticed you Holding guys some of these flags. He's, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I noticed you guys were coming from the protest, yeah. and I really appreciated you guys showing up there. So, Saad, you, you were saying that you were very disheartened for the longest time. Uh, you're not originally from Canada. What country are you from? I was born in Pakistan. Okay, so he's from Pakistan, and he, he actually loves Canada, and he was concerned very on that nobody 
was speaking out against the lockdown and he complimented both of us and he said I'm so glad you guys are out here and and this is what we love about free media it, it's speaking to, to the random stranger you know that's walking about and saw us on the bridge and we were chatting a little bit and uh, I, I think it's it's fair to say that you're a little bit more encouraged now that you know there's a large freedom fighter movement out there. Oh yeah, and I mean I was like I was telling you like the truckers really restored my faith in our legal system See? and uh, you know just this country as a whole because I really felt like we were going down the wrong path and um, I I was skeptical of protesting even I didn't think it would make a difference but yeah. luckily they restored a little bit of sanity to this country are you a post-secondary student by any chance or? Uh, I graduated last year uh, so I'm, I'm lucky I'm out of the system yeah. I am still doing my masters but I, I'm doing it online just yeah. because I don't want to deal with the school what system. school if you don't mind me asking what institution I I went up north to Algoma University okay. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I didn't go to Western. Yeah. It's been really terrible yeah. recently. Were yes. you forced to get the jab, or did you did you dodge no, it? No, zero. I dodged it, luckily. Mm -hmm. But I uh, I upset a lot of people at my university just uh, sending out chain mail. I like this guy. Right? <laughs> yeah. I, because, look, my, my complaint with it, even just like a couple months into flattening the curve, is that this is blatantly against our legal system. It's against Canadian law. It's against the Charter of Rights and Freedoms to like restrict people's uh, movement across this country on this basis, to restrict their access to public services. It's against our law, it's discriminatory, right, right. and it's segregating people off of like, something which doesn't even work, yeah. right? It's an experiment, right? Yeah, um, but anything else you wanna ask? <laughs> So, no, uh, your thoughts about the school, like uh, these these guys who are going into school now, the, these young students uh, being forced to take the jab. Um, it's either that, or you know, you know, they lose their education. Um, you know, they have to find another university or something to go to. What, what's your thoughts on all that? Uh, what Western is imposing on these students? It's unfair. It's it's blatantly unfair. And as far as I'm concerned, it's against Canadian law. Everybody just forgot the law we used to apply like two three years ago and we're just making it up on the fly now exactly you know they're, they're it's they're basically being coerced blackmailed if you will uh into taking these vaccines uh if you want to continue your education here you're going to take that booster or else um you know you're not you're not welcome here yeah and it's totally. uh, and, and discrimination what? as well it's, at its best so it's discrimination at its most extreme in canada and what, what makes matters worse is that the thing doesn't work we know it doesn't we're work. seeing young athletes die. You're, you're, you're seeing yeah. that in the headlines. Well, there was a 19, 20 year old hockey right. player that just passed um, today or yesterday, I believe. So, Football you know, players, you soccer see, players. Exactly. I believe there's like over 600 soccer players now that have, uh, that have passed. So, these are like some of the healthiest people on the planet. But, you know, mentioning like uh, the students, I, I haven't really talked to even one person that got this job for a medical reason. It's always social, political or just to tell other people you got it. Nobody got it because it works. People just got it to travel, to go to school, and that's not a reason to get an experimental gene therapy, right? If it worked, I think the blow of it would be a little bit less. You could actually argue, okay, it works, but it doesn't. And any anybody with half a brain cell at this point should realize it. And I, even at the Western protest, I talked to so many kids. You were there on Saturday? Uh, this is the first time I came out to protest. Wow, good uh, for you, my friend. But, I mean, I apply my standard to myself. I haven't gotten even one jab. But, yeah, I talked to so many kids there that are like, I got my two jabs so I could come to university and now they're like, get a third one. I don't want a third one. I'm beginning to feel really coerced. Uh, well, what's next? You get it every month along with your cell phone bill? I mean, it's, it's become ridiculous. Was there one speaker on Saturday that really stood out for you? or? Uh, I was only there for a couple of hours. Okay. Like, and right as people started to speak, I had to run. run now, are, are you aware that there's a court injunction that has been filed on behalf Oops. of the Western okay. students? Um, I, I yeah. am not sure. Yes, yeah, there is, there's an injunction that was filed against what Western is trying to do. We're trying to get details on it, um, but there's a lot of controversy about that protest at Western. Oh, because really? the campus police um, have put out a, a lot of misleading information that due to security reasons, they only want, they wanted to limit the size of the protest. I the noticed, students. yeah. Um, now, what does that tell you folks? Because they know that people are rising up. Now, there's about 800 people there. I think we could have doubled that number so 
Um, mm -hmm. Well, I know the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms. There are a couple of groups that have been on this for a long time. But, uh, you know, what I'm looking out for is victories in the legal system. Yeah. It's easy to start yeah. a court case, right. but where does that go? We need some precedents, some hard ones. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, because I've been seeing, like, oh, we're starting a court case. I've been hearing that for two years now. But, you know, what did make a difference was the truckers. And, yes. you know, you have to, like, cause a bit of a record. Are, are you taking law in, in your education, buddy? I study computer science. Okay. <laughs> now, listen, man, you're in the wrong field. Oh! This young man over here, I think, would make a fine, a fine attorney. You've got some good articulation. You've got some good passion. Maybe do some paralegal stuff on the side. You hey, know what I mean, I mean hey. on this issue, I'd happily volunteer my time. If, uh, if you ever need me to volunteer my time, I'm, I'm ready. You know? Thoughts on uh, Justin Trudeau? Uh, As a leader, you know. You know, oh I, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> feel strongly about him one way or the other. Okay, I could take him or leave him. Uh, what matters to me, I'm like very one issue. You take away the vaccine passports, you let me live my life freely, right, right. and you're good with me. You right. know, Sounds and reasonable. and uh, for me, it's not even a partisan issue. It's not like conservative or liberal, because like, just just fix that one issue guys and just like bring back the country i like it's practical man that's right so final thoughts for everybody watching well i mean i thanks for talking to me and uh, i definitely enjoyed talking to you guys well thank you it's been an honor to meet you yeah all right, god, bless you. Oh. god bless you too guys